Hello guys, in this video, I will show how to use the chain rule in finding the derivative of a function. The chain rule is a fundamental concept in calculus used to differentiate composite functions such as f of g of x. If we will let this be equal to capital letter f of x, then its derivative denoted as f prime of x is f prime of g of x times g prime of x. In simple terms, you first differentiate the outer function f with respect to g and then multiply it by the derivative of the inner function g. Example, f of x equals 2x plus 1 raised to 10. In this example, the inner function is 2x plus 1. So this is equivalent to g in our formula. So which means to find the derivative, we will assume that this inner function is just a single variable. Now, if this is a single variable, let's say u, then this is equal to u raised to 10. To get the derivative, apply the power rule. The power rule states that the derivative of x raised to n is nx raised to n minus 1. So that is, bring down 10 as a coefficient, copy the base, and then minus 1 in the minus 1 from the exponent. So that's 10 u raised to 9. Now let's do that pattern here. So we have bring down 10 as a coefficient, copy the base, 2x plus 1, and then minus 1 from the exponent. So that's 10 minus 9, 10 minus 1 is 9. And then multiply it by the derivative of the inner function g. So that's 2. And simplify. So now f prime of x is equal to 10 times 2 is 20. Then copy 2x plus 1 raised to 9. So this is the final answer. Example number 2, we have f of x equals 5x squared plus 2 cubed. So now, again, let's use this formula in finding the derivative of this function. f prime of x is equal to treat this as a single variable. Now we have uh, 5x squared plus 2 cubed. So that's a variable raised to 3. So let's assume that's u, u raised to 3. Now again, apply the power rule in differentiating this. So that's 3u squared. Then follow the, the, the form. So that's uh, bring down 3 as a coefficient, copy the base, and then 3 minus 1, 2, so we have 2, and then multiply it by the derivative of the inner function. So that's uh, the derivative of 5x squared is 10x, then derivative of 2 is 0. So now we have this. Uh, let's simplify, multiply 3 and 10, so we have 30, 30x, and then copy 5x squared plus 2. Squared. So this is the final answer.